Kent in LaGrande, Oregon. You want to disagree with me about this? Uh, my name's Clint. Oh, Clint. I'm sorry. Uh, What's up? <clears throat> yeah, I, you know, conservatives are definitely not innocent, but neither are liberals. I mean, 25% of the Democratic Party several years ago believed George Bush had something to do with 9-11. Um, Harry Reid. They did not su su floor. successfully argue that in the media. Well, what, what it was I'm not part is... of the policy of the Democratic Party to assert. In fact, the, the Democratic Party even wimped out on what was true, which is that George Bush was AWOL. He was a deserter during the Vietnam Do you have War. Evidence for that? I beg your pardon. Do you have evidence of that? Yeah, it's not in dispute. That is absolutely not in dispute. He left the Texas Air National Guard a little less than a year before he was supposed to be discharged and was absent without leave for more than 30 days, which is called desertion. And he did it during time of war. And the Democratic Party could have turned that into a let's take this guy down for it. I guarantee you, had Bill Clinton done that, the Republicans would have. But the Democratic Party didn't because they don't do ad hominems. They don't do the politics of personal destruction. I, you know, we can argue about whether they should or not, but I just don't think it's in their DNA. But the Republicans always go there. They well, no, institutionally. Reid goes on the Senate floor and lies about Mitt Romney paying taxes. It was a proven flat-out lie. Mitt Romney, what, what are you talking about? Remember when Harry Reid went on the Senate floor and said he's got it on good authority that Mitt Romney did not pay um, his income taxes. Yeah, there, there was a year when Mitt Romney didn't pay his taxes. Mitt Romney has never demonstrated that that was not the case. He has had more than ample but, opportunity. But, he released Harry three years worth of, two, worth of tax records. That's what I mean. It was a total ad hominem attack. He did not have evidence. But see, that was that one. You're talking about one about. senator making one remark about Mitt Romney. The party did not run with that. Remember the Willie Horton ads? The, the airwaves were saturated with them. The Swift Boat veteran stuff, it was wall-to-wall -wall for weeks. It was a movie, for God's sake. I mean, you know, Harry Reid standing up and making one comment one time on the floor of the Senate, that is not the Democratic Party institutionally using an ad hominem attack. And, 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 at the per and by the way, that's not even an ad hominem attack. Mitt Romney probably didn't pay taxes the year of the great crash he probably showed a paper loss he refused to release his income taxes for 2008 he probably didn't you're not being honest you're not being honest about it and and Mitt Romney no Harry Reid said that he had it on good authority that the that the year that the stock market crashed but there's a lot of billionaires a lot of very rich people who did not pay taxes that year because they had huge paper losses I mean, when well, you make your money... that that was the case with Romney. But, but see, Harry Romney... Evidence? The evidence is that Romney refused to release the ta his tax records for that year. If Romney paid taxes that evidence. year, he could, he could have put an end to that. But again, that was not turned into a campaign ad that was run over and over and over again. And, 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 and you know, A, it was not a lie. And the Swift Boat thing and the Willie Horton thing, those were lies. A, it was not a lie. And B, it was not used institutionally by the Democratic Party. And C, it was not ad hominem. It didn't, it didn't characterize Romney in a light that was not consistent with who he was. Mitt Romney proudly proclaimed that he paid 14% income taxes, whereas you know, the average American pays more than that. I mean, Romney, and, and, and by the way, when you, the, the year that he did release, he did not take the deduction for his religious contributions, which were, you know, I think over a million dollars, that he probably, that he almost certainly took the next year. Had he taken that deduction, his taxes would have been 10 or 11 percent. I mean, this is, this was litigated years ago. But, 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 but again, it was, it's not inconsistent. Over that? John Kerry was not, did not wound himself in Vietnam to get a Purple Heart. Yet that was the Republican storyline. Dukakis did not release Willie Horton because he thought it was a great idea. That was the previous Republican governor, but that was the Republican storyline. Mitt Romney did do everything he could to avoid paying taxes and proudly said that's every American's obligation. If Harry Reid is pointing that out, that's, that, you know, that's not swift boating. I'm sorry, Kent. It's not swift boating.
You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 866-987-THOM. And, and again, why are we not calling this faction of the Tea Party terrorists? 